know, you will know already, but Croc, Croc loves to talk, so um, I'm not much of a talker like him, so I'll keep it brief as possible. Um, I just want to do a few thank yous to start, and I want to thank um, Mazda and Spirit of Taz and all our other um, partners for their sponsorship throughout the year and their ongoing support um, in our program and also the men's program as well. Um, I also want to thank our player sponsors, those in attendance tonight and those that couldn't quite make it. I um, want to thank the North Melbourne Football Club, um, its members, its, its fans. Um, they're, they're so loyal and um, I know it was a disappointing end to our season but we're hoping to continue to grow. Um, our passionate CEO, Ben Amafio, I've never met a man so passionate about um, the club and, and the direction that we're going. So thank you so much for your support throughout the year. Um, our board as well for their continuous support. Um, our coaches, we had a, new, a few new coaches. Um, Darren or Croc, um, thank you so much for being a second dad to us. Um, your dad jokes are horrible, but <laughs> your, knowledge, your knowledge of the game um, is outstanding and we're so fortunate to have someone of your experience um, looking after us. Um, to all our other coaches though and, and staff um, involved in our program, um, thank you so much. Um, the support's been incredible. Um, to our family, friends and, and partners, thank you for your ongoing support. Um, you know, we, we as athletes, we can be quite selfish. We spend a lot of time away from, from your family and friends. So thank you for your ongoing support. Without that, we can't perform at the level that we can without you know, your encouragement. Um, so thank you very much. Um, and I guess to the players as well, you know, the off season for us last year was, was bloody hard. Um, I know I spent, we spent about six months away from each other. Um, we couldn't get out of our five kilometre bubble, those that were stuck in Victoria. So to have that motivation to keep getting better, to keep getting fitter and working on those areas of your game was incredible and it just shows you how driven um, you are. So thank you for that. Um, I must give a shout out also to Aileen Giroy, our Irish recruit. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't, I didn't realise how popular you were. <laughs> um, she spent 14 days in quarantine um, over the Christmas period, so just to have that dedication to come over to this country and, and to play the game, um, it's a credit to you. I just want to finish with some highlights from the year. So um, one of my favourite highlights, and I've watched it about 100 times, is Dario Bannister's bump um, in the opening round against Geelong. Um, Talia Randall's first ever AFLW goal after five seasons playing. Um, being involved in the first ever Pride round. Um, Jess Duffin, the super mum, for coming back from having a baby. Pretty amazing. Um, and our very first Indigenous round. And to celebrate our great culture that we have in Australia but to celebrate two of our own Indigenous players in, in Mia King and Caitlin Ashmore was pretty special. As I, as I mentioned, it was a really disappointing end to the season. It still hurts me, but um, there's so much potential in this group. We've got such a young list and we've got so much growing to do. And with the coaches that we have involved, the staff we have involved in our program, we're looking to keep growing and, and getting better each year. So look out. Thank you.